Good morning, folks. Here in 304 Angstroms, we see the large ropes of charged material. The calm on our star stands in blatant defiance of these plasma filaments and the sunspot situation. 193 Angstroms, best all-around sun viewing wavelength, shows a lot of features but not much activity, especially in the eruption department. Over at spaceweathernews.com, we drop in on the X-ray flux to see solar flaring still very low despite the growth of active region 2390 directly facing Earth. Just not too much magnetic mixing there. Same can be said behind him as stagnation settles in. Do have a lone umbra coming in with the mesospots. We'll need more there as well. Now it gets a bit fun. The solar wind shows a slight perturbation in speed and density this morning, but the phi angle in blue indicates that this stream is in magnetic flux, possibly a minor co-rotating interaction region or maybe a sector boundary. And while magnetic storms aren't here yet, charged particle flux is changing from geosynchronous orbit down through the atmosphere so we can check off one minor earthquake factor starting as of last night. We were still in the waning watch associated with a four-way lineup of Mercury, Sun, Earth, and Ceres. We don't get many four-way geometries, so when we do, they're relevant for a couple days. But the third one's a charm. Add to the space weather and planets an Earth-facing coronal hole, the primary quake factor of the bunch. Early this morning, the crust couldn't take it anymore, and a 6.9 rang out in Alaska, almost dead center in the Aleutian Islands spanning the northern Pacific. We saw more above average shaking around to the east where Oregon was above average and around to the west where the moment the typhoon died atop Japan the volcanoes began showing signs of significant eruptive activity. In the United States we will have north central states with the top alert on that heat and moisture flow coming up the center with New England got it coming up from the Atlantic as well. Over in Europe the top storm is out to sea in the west but those same lows do remain to the east. Down under we see those convergence lines now tightly packed and both near New Zealand while the next system is drawing tropical moisture and heading for the coast there. Website members, today's featured content is the latest Deeper Look episode. It truly did end up being my opening of the door. It's a topic you can't have crammed at you. You either love it or you don't. For those trying to lock in the lower membership price, listen closely. If you signed up after February, there's a very good chance you're already locked in. But if not, active accounts cannot upgrade, renew, or lock in. You have to either wait till it expires or try a different email address and username and start from scratch. I am very sorry, but I won't be able to do hands-on account tweaks like I did at the end of May. I lost three weeks of my life to thousands of emails, and this last week of July is just for those who missed the boat for whatever reason last time. I talk through the current conditions and some shots of our star to close. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.